Phil. I'm Henry. And we're here with the iTrack. What is this? Okay, so this is iTrack. Uh, this is part of Rockwell's uh, ICT portfolio. ICT? So ICT is independent cart technology. Okay. So basically what this is, is each of these carts that you see here are controlled and monitored independently and they can do different things at different times depending on the application. So it's just a smart conveyor belt? Essentially, yeah. Okay. This little cart here that you got, is this have an individual ID so like everybody, it knows exactly where and what it is? Yeah, so each cart has, you know, you might say a serial number or like as you said, an ID. Okay. So I can keep track of where it is in the system at all times and I can keep track of, you know, what's being placed on it. So I can, if I know what specific, for instance, golf balls in this case okay. are being placed on it, then I know, you know, that serial number is with that cart. And then I have a, an absolute position value. So I know exactly where it is on the track. So that's how I can interface with these robots mm -hmm. and find a specific golf ball and place it in a specific set of pins. What's the, the tolerance? Like how close do you know like exact location? Um, it's a few microns. It's really highly accurate. They, so there's other ICT products that are more for, you know, just moving parts from point A to point B. Okay. Those are less um, precise, okay. if you will. Um, this is designed to be a more highly tunable, uh, extremely precise system that you know you can do some really cool applications with. Being that precise, does it kind of like lower the weight limit? Like wh how much weight can you stick on these little guys? Yeah, so I think it's like in the four kg uh, payload, oh, okay. rate, payload range. So I yeah, it can hold nine golf balls. That's pretty yeah. impressive. <laughs> right, so yeah, you're gonna see this in uh, like pharma type applications okay. Okay. where you know maybe you're moving a vial around and you're um, putting a specific formula in a specific vial for a specific patient maybe and I can keep track of that throughout the entire process okay. um, from start to finish. So how many carts can you have on a single system? Is it limited? Um, yes and no. It's limited basically only by how much space you have. Right, okay. So you can put as many carts as there is space, right? Okay. But you're generally gonna wanna have fewer carts. Carts, more carts cost more money, right? Right. So I can try to do more with less, right? Okay. So I can have fewer carts and you know, you'll notice one, carts co one cart comes around and then it sort of zooms around mm -hmm. to the other side to get ready for the pickup or, or the drop off. And, you know, in normal situations, you might have like a chain style conveyor where I have to have a cart at every station and I'm indexing, right? Okay. So now I have to have a lot more tooling, I see. a lot more machining involved, more so cost. Reduce components. Reduce components, reduce overall complexity of the mechanical system. Uh -huh. So then how big can this get? Um, so this one can only get to about, you know, 12 ish feet. Okay. So this is a this is the small frame okay. eye track. And you'll notice this one is also a um, just an oval, right? right? So the small frame is only an oval okay. configuration like this. It's meant to be more modular and, and uh, less configurable. It can make turns. And, yeah, it just okay. goes around in a, in a circle. That's okay. all it does. Now, there's a medium frame eye track that's more configurable. So I can make, you know, squares out of it or you know, various different shapes okay. out of it, depending on the machine application. That one actually has a higher payload as well, but same sort of precision and uh, technology. So it's kind of like sold as a modular sort of situation to where it, it's it's more, it, oh, sorry, it's it's less manipulatable than say a, a long co like conveyor belt. It, it is what it is for the most part. Like you sell it as a, a piece. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's less configurable from a mechanical perspective, right. but way more configurable from a programming perspective and okay. use case perspective. And using it the right way too, right? So, you know, you might have a, um, a line scan camera mm -hmm. that 
you have to have a separate axis of motion for usually. Okay. In this case, I could actually run eye track at a specific speed and monitor the position and feed that back to the camera. Wow. So that's a that's an application yeah. that you know it makes the whole the overall system simpler by using eye track.